Um, at the moment, I got to watch the steps. I thought maybe I'd take you on a little walk. Actually, I'm going to look for eggs. We got two out of the coop today and one out of Cardboard City, but um, there could be two more someplace. Now, last night, one of the ladies, hold on, what are you doing up there, copper? That's Copper up on top of the chicken coop. I don't think I've ever seen her up there before, but hey, you never know. So. I got a picture of it. Um, these damn chickens, I'll tell you. They don't make it easy. Anyhow, this is where I found some eggs. <clears throat> so now we have to check out here every day. Okay, no chicken, no eggs. Okay, next. <laughs> Hold on. No, I was going to show you the guinea hens, but uh, they just jumped down. So... <clears throat> We're going to go check in Cardboard City, see if we can find anything there. And I'm using my cane for two reasons. Number one, the ground is unlevel. There are sticks, tree trunks, limbs, blah, 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 all over the place, and I don't want to trip. Second... One of the roosters is a real nasty guy, and he attacks. So I have to have my cane in order to keep me from being attacked. What are you doing, Copper? Copper's now down. And she didn't leave me an egg behind the concrete. <clears throat> so we're going to go check Cardboard City. And if nothing there, maybe we'll get the mail. Sorry, I have to keep changing hands. Um, today is actually a happy day. Our baby chicks are being born. So far we have three. Two came yesterday, one more today, and another one out of our tiny little egg is trying to be born. He's pecking his way through. And then there's three that are still not doing anything yet. One of them being a big egg, which we wonder whether there will be um, two babies or one huge thing. Okay, I'm here in Cardboard City. I'll show you in a minute why I call it Cardboard City. And I don't see any eggs there. <clears throat> Gotta look over here. Nope, nothing. All right. See? Quick look. Cardboard City. They like to go in that box. And way over there. It's all stuff that goes to the burn pile. But since they've been roosting in there... We don't bother it yet. Out here. Hi. Hi, babies. There's the goat barn. A couple of them peeking out. Um, out here is where I think I'm going to put whatever home I decide on in this area. Got picnic table area, fireplace area. So somewhere out here. Don't know yet what I'm going to use. 
I don't think it's going to be a tiny house. I have too much stuff for that. So maybe a modular, I don't know, or a shed to house, something. And there they are. Hi, babies. Don't touch the fence. <laughs> um, yesterday, they had lost one of their chickens. And I scoured the area this morning and actually found little sunshine over here. You probably can't see very well, but it's a nice log in there. And she was standing on that log and just staring. We don't know if she's got a nest somewhere in there, but as you can see, it's a great hiding spot. However, nobody really wants to go in there looking for an egg. So we'll, we'll see what she does. She's back with the group this morning. And... I'll go over here by the baby goats. Well, they're not really babies. They're all getting grown up. There's the two little ladies. One of the little boys. Big Mama. And the other little boy scratching his ear. You've been introduced to them before. So that's where I'm thinking of putting some sort of accommodation. So, anyhow, like I say, it's a happy day because we have baby chicks. But also, it's making me miss my baby dogs. They weren't babies. They all lived to be 18 years old. And right now, I kind of miss them. I'll ask Rochelle to put a couple of pictures up of my dogs. And that was my life for 18 years with those dogs, three of them. And uh, like I say, today I kind of miss them. Got new life coming in and makes me think of my old life with my dogs. However, I'm too old to start over with a puppy. And uh, physically not well enough because everything keeps breaking. If I wasn't in such rough shape, I would take on another dog. Oh my, look who's here. Hi guys. What are you all doing under here, huh? Is this a new fun spot in there in the shade? Huh? There you go. Hi, babies. Chick, chick. Okay. So much for them. Rochelle will put pictures of the baby chickens in there, too. The one you hear crowing. He's the mean one sometimes. He's been known to run right after us. He's pecked me twice. Once I had food and he wanted it. So I guess I can't really blame him for that. And another time, I think he just wanted to do it. So, all right, we're going to walk up since there's no eggs. We'll walk up and get the mail. I'm just going to set my cane over here. And I'll pick it up on the way back. There. We're gonna bring, oh, here comes Copper. How come you're all alone today, Copper? Huh? And there's Java, the handsome boy. <laughs> she says, oh my God, here he comes. Okay, we were bringing the goats down in here and they were browsing. Um, so, here we go up to the mailbox. Gotta go down the driveway. I try to do this every day because it's exercise. Gets me out and walking. 
other than that, quite honestly, I would be in reading a book. I get about five books out of the library, oh, every week or so. And I can read for a long time, but then I get up and I have to move because I'm stiff. But that's okay. So here we are. <clears throat> The only reason this is shut is we tried to keep the guineas, oh, for heaven's sakes, the guinea hens from taking off. And then we put the green fencing up also to try to block them, but <laughs> nothing stops them. Okay. Over to the mailbox. See if there's anything exciting. Fortunately, my medicines get delivered up here, which is good. No mail. No mail, no eggs. Just one of those days, I guess. Well, we did get eggs earlier. I forgot. We got three. It's good when they finally lay their eggs in the coop where they're supposed to because... Soon, cold weather will be coming. And I don't know anybody that's going to go out looking at snow drifts for eggs. Hold on. Got to fix this thing back up again. I got a message from my favorite nephew, Nicholas. After my husband died, there was another bad hurricane that was going to come through. So he drove down to stay with me and help if I needed help with the hurricane. Because sometimes you have to... Oh, there they are. You have to um, put down sandbags, etc. Anyhow, <laughs> he ended up staying six months, and he's a great-looking kid, and like I say, he's my favorite nephew. Anyhow, he sent a message, I'm trying to find a place to sit. Maybe I can sit over here a minute, if the birds don't attack me, or some stupid frog or snake. No, I can't do that. All right, I guess I gotta keep walking. <laughs> I haven't found a place I want it, that I dare sit. I will admit, I wasn't raised on a farm. I'm not comfortable around farm animals particularly. And I don't wanna greet, have a meet and greet with a snake. So anyhow, um, I know I'll sit on the I'll sit on the bumper of the jeep. Anyhow, um, he sent me a message saying that he hopes to be in New York over Thanksgiving. He and his girlfriend. They've been together. Oh, I'm going to say at least three years. Maybe longer, I kind of lose track, but she's a very nice girl. She's planning on going into the military, I believe. She's been wanting to do that for a long time, although she's still um, not in. She finished her college, so my guess is she might want to go in soon. And I don't know if you'll become an officer or not, but she wants to be a fireman which is kind of dangerous for a girl, but I think she's a healthy, strong, dedicated girl, and I think she would do well. I'm not quite sure how they're going to handle being apart or whether he will go to wherever she's stationed. Uh, that remains to be seen. Anyhow, if he comes up to New York, I know Aunt Shannon would love to see him. Did I say my nephew? I apologize. Nicholas is my grandson. <laughs> hell to get old guys 
Yes, Nicholas is my grandson. He belongs to my son and his ex-wife. Shannon is the aunt. Anyhow, I know she and Rochelle would love to see Nick. They like him a lot. And he's fun. He's a lot of fun. If he could, he would bring his four-wheeler up and race with Rochelle up the hill. And then they'd probably both go into some lake and go mudding and having a fun time. But he's a great kid. All of my grandkids are. You've met Brenna. And the only one you haven't met is Remy. I'll ask for Rochelle to put a picture of Remy in so that you know what she looks like. She is my son's. Looks just like him. Has the curly hair like he had. And the brown eyes. Just like my husband and Chris. So anyhow, um, it's a beautiful day. It's probably high 70s. Not much of a breeze right now, but it, it is gorgeous out, as you can see. I'm sitting out here by the Jeep in the driveway just to get some fresh air and sunshine. We brought Mama Hen and the three little babies out to walk around. It's amazing. They come out of the egg ready to go. They've got their feathers. They're cute as can be. They eat. It's amazing. Not like you would expect from something that's newborn. I thought it was going to be scrawny and look like a baby mouse or something. You know, no fur. But they don't. They come out ready-made. Pretty exciting. So I'm going to ask Rochelle for some pictures of the baby chicks. The couple of pictures of my dogs. Tank. Tessa. And Tucker. Tank developed in his 18th year. Alzheimer's, or doggy dementia, they call it. Um, we had him on medication, but it just got worse and worse, and he would be up all night pacing, not knowing what to do with himself, getting into stuff. Here comes Copper. Hey, Copper. What are you doing? Huh? Did you leave me an egg up behind the concrete? No? Okay. Um, I don't want to say he was my favorite, but he probably was because he was a gentleman. If you were in the bathroom, he did not barge in and stand there and sniff at you while you were trying to pee. He waited on the other side of the bathroom door. He also slept with us every night. Um, all three of them slept with us for many years until something happened, and he and Tucker got into a fight one day, in fact, it was Halloween of uh, 2016 when they got fighting and I had a cup of hot coffee in my hand. I went to put the coffee down to sort of break up and break up their fight. But guess what? You'd <laughs> I got bit. I have some horrible pictures of the terrible dog bite, but Rochelle said we can't put them on YouTube because they're too gory. Um... She might be able to take the one picture of me sitting on the hospital bed, getting stitched up. But that would be about it, because all the rest of them, I could show you the scar from many years later. And I will say that I ended up with a very big, deep, open wound that could not be closed. It took many months to fill itself in, and we used Manuka honey, which worked exceptionally well. And my doctor was very happy to see me use that because it's just one more story that he can see for his own eyes that uh, Manuka honey works. Okay. I'm not sure why they're coming down here. I hope that they turn in and go in the other barn. This little red one. Oh, okay. They're going to look for some food. And actually, I'm going to move someplace else because it's getting warm in that sun. So I'm going to go over here. Maybe I'll go sit on the steps. Um, when the little red ones come running up to us and want to be picked up, which they do, that's when the mean rooster comes and <laughs> attacks. So, 
Anyhow. Ugh. Okay, now I'm on the steps. Um, Tessa Marie, she also died when she was 18. Oh, about a year or so after Tank. And Tessa developed some sort of heart problem. Now, we had her on two different types of medication, but you could tell it was getting hard for her to breathe. Um, so we had to have her put down because the medicines just weren't working. And the vet felt that it was really no quality of life left for her. We'll send you a picture of her as well. Now, Tucker was the last remaining. He was the youngest of the three, but he also lived to be 18. So for another year, I just had Tucker and... Um, last time that I was up here when I had my broken pelvis, of course, he came with me. And it was just a few days before Christmas, I believe, or very close to Christmas, that neurologically something happened and he started, um, like, dragging his back legs. And Shannon took him into the, her vets. And, oh, there's Morticia. Morticia's over there by red. And um, anyhow, the next day, Rochelle drove me over so I could see Tucker, see how he was doing. And unfortunately, he had died overnight or early in the morning, I guess. So whatever happened with him, um, I guess it was his time to go. So like I say, now I'm without any dogs. I miss them. Um, you've seen the white bulldog. That's Dixon. He comes in every morning and looks for graham crackers from grandma. And then the scary looking dark, short, muscular little lady is Olive. And she sits on the couch with me. Um, there tends to be a bit of jealousy as to who gets on the couch to sit beside me. If Big Ridley is up there, which you've seen him, um, nobody else can get up there because he's not going to share. But if she's up there, sometimes Ridley will jump right up too. And we have to be very cautious because, number one, they take up the whole couch. Number two, we don't want any fighting. Not that there might not be, but who knows. So, anyhow, I guess that's it for today. Just wanted to uh, go egg hunting with you, tell you about our baby chicks, tell you my, about my sweet dogs, my dog bite, and again, life continues on the farm. Thank you again for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.